everybody. So I'm going to do a sort of like a palette collection slash declutter video and hi, I'm doing it like vlog style here on my table and I have some palettes I'm going to go through and I am going to declutter them. Um, I'm just going to use this background. I'm hoping this works um, out. And so I'll just go through them. I might get, I'm going to get rid of a few, I think, because I have another video coming up that, um, um, well, I bought more palettes, I guess is what I'm, I'm trying to say. So I'm going to go through some of these and get rid of them. Now this set is the Too Faced set. Um, they were a Christmas set that I got as a gift um, and there's actually three and I'll show you the other here one here is a little one but this one I'm not counting because it's actually got a blush bronzer and highlighter so I I actually sit that over with my highlighters I love the inside of this look how cute the little like squirrels are but um so this one I'm not counting in this I, I I'm gonna sit it back over here <clears throat> but these are the two eyeshadow palettes, and I am going to keep these. I think this was called the Christmas Wish set, maybe? I can't remember. But anyway, so this is the inside of this one, and I really like them. They're really pretty. Um, this is the other one. As you can see, there's a lot of really nice, um, like, glittery shades. So I am going to keep these two. Um, so those are two are keepers. The next one is this Santa Monica palette by, I believe this is by La Rock, if I'm not mistaken, I think. Yes, I think that's what that says there. <clears throat> this is the inside of it. Um, so you have these shades here. Uh, this is actually kind of like a blush and highlighter and then like four eyeshadows, but I very rarely use this. Um, and I kind of, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to get rid of a bunch of things. So this one's going to go. Um, so I'm either going to see if one of my friends wants this or if I can give it away to someone. So that one's going to go. Um, the next are these three Profusion palettes. Um, and I actually think two of these are exactly the same, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to find... The, if they're the colors on the back and I can't tell. I, I believe... Like, this is the newer one I have. I remember this is the newer one. Like, these two are exactly the same. And I love these. These are great shadows, by the way. Um, they are really, really good shadows. And then I have this one as well, which I believe one of these is called Nude Metals, I think. And one, I don't, I'm not even sure, guys. Um... I have so many palettes, so like I'm, oh, I'm just tempted to get rid of all of these. I am going to, since I haven't really used this one at all, I'm going to see if someone I know wants it. So we're going to get rid of that one for sure. Um, one of these two, I think I'm just going to get rid of both of those. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of all of these because I have like a whole bunch of new palettes coming. So we're going to get rid of all of those. This, okay, guys, <laughs> this is like my unicorn dream palette um here i'm not even lying i have like three of these i have two backups of this palette um and the reason is because they tend to break these shadows break super freaking easily like you can tell this one completely fell out it was totally i couldn't even fix it this is the aspen Ovard tarte palette i have like i said i have like three of these um it comes with like a blush highlighter all these shades are freaking, they're right up my alley. They're fabulous, fabulous shades. And hi, oh, you can see my camera in there. Keeping that one for sure. Um, no doubt keeping that one. One, one of my favorite palettes of all time. <clears throat> Next are these three Revolution Beauty palettes. Oh, I'm torn on these two. I, I, these aren't bad, to be honest. I just, I have so... Many I kind of want to get rid of. Um, this is the Iconic 3. This one is like the shade and light. It's kind of like a dupe of um, Cap Candy. This one is kind of a dupe of one of the Naked palettes. I think it's called Essential Mattes. I'm actually going to get rid of all three of these. I'm doing a real declutter here, guys, for real. So I'm going to get rid of all three of those. See if anybody wants them. This one's a lot like Naked 3. I think it was supposed to be a Naked 3 dupe. Um, but like I said, I'm getting like... Others, like six other palettes, so we're getting rid of those. We're making waves, guys. We are making waves. 
Next on the chopping blocks, Naked Cherry. And I got this for Christmas. If I can figure it, okay, hold on guys, let me open this. Give me one second here, okay, here we go. So here's Naked Cherry. I really like this palette. Um, like I said, I got it for Christmas, so I'm keeping that one for sure. Next, Lorac Pro. Um, had this one a super long time, and honestly, I don't use it. Well, <laughs> obviously, you can see I've used it quite a bit. I've actually hit hit pan on this palette, but uh, <clears throat> I think I'm going to get rid of it. Ugh, I know, right? But we're going to get rid of that one. Here's another Lorac. This was the Refined Romance. Um, this is what the inside of her looks like. There's like a, uh, these two, this is a great shade right here. It's got like, this is like two highlighters and a blush. Uh, I don't really use it that often though, guys. I'm getting rid of that one too. I know, right? Okay. And my, one of my favorites, this is the Lorac Pro 3, I believe it's called. And... As you can see, I haven't really used it too, too much. Um, I love all of these. Like, these are, you know, if you have a palette that doesn't have a lot of transition shades, as you can see, you have a ton of them in here. So that's why I like to keep that one. So I'm keeping that one for sure. Next is Jaclyn Hill. Um, does it say which one this is? It's one of her... It's one of her four palettes, anyway. I'm not sure... Maybe you guys will know when you see the inside of it. I really like this. Um, I haven't used it much, but I love the shades in here. Uh, and the payoff, color payoff's really great. Love this, so I'm keeping it. Here's an oldie but a goodie, guys. The original Urban Decay Naked Palette. Ooh, boy. Discontinued, right? They have the new one out. And I'm going to keep this one just because it's an oldie but a goodie. And... Um, it's discontinued now, so I'm going to keep that one. Next up, Makeup Revolution Chocolate Vice. Um, that's what she looks like on the inside. I really... <sighs> these Makeup Revolution ones are tough for me to decide. I, I'm getting rid of this one, I think. I have a bunch of Bad Habit palettes coming in that are other dupes, so we'll get rid of the dupes we have. Next up, I got... This one I got in BoxyCharm, I think. And it is Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. Oh boy. Guys, I don't like this palette at all. I'm not even going to lie. Um, it's literally all shimmers, but I think one. And that's even like a sheeny, shimmery color. And I don't use a lot of shimmers. So since I'm getting those other palettes, and since I get a palette a month, and I'm getting rid of this one. I hate to say I'm getting rid of it. It's it's real nice shape, but getting rid of it. Um, here's another oldie but a goodie. Look, I even got a <laughs> bobby pin stuck to it. The uh, semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. As you can see, I haven't used it a whole lot. I, lo I, I really like this, and this was a gift from my boyfriend, so I'm keeping that one. And here we go with the Profusion again. Another Profusion. I'm putting the other ones back, guys. This is the Profusion Naturals. Um, a lot of nice shades in here, but I feel like I have a lot of these kind of shades in the Lorac 3, which is a lot better quality, so I'm getting rid of that one. I don't think I would get rid of this many, I'm not even lying. <laughs> I thought I'd get rid of a few, but hey. Another Lorac, um, believe this is unzipped, maybe? Unzipped, yeah. I think I really like this one. Oops, and I'm missing a shadow. Of course, I'm good at dropping stuff, so this is what happens. <laughs> Um, but the rest of these are great. Great transition shades. I love these chocolatey brown. This is a, I love, this is my favorite color right here. And they have like a darker, real dark brown. And you can barely tell that it's brown, but it's like a plum color. I like this. I'm keeping it. Well, that's a keeper. And then I have a Too Faced bon, Chocolate Bonbon palette. And there's the inside of it. Uh, I think I'm going to keep this one. Just because. Okay, so I went through one section of my palettes. We got two sections to go, guys. Bear with me. I'm going to put these back in the in here. So that's what I'm left with there. Still got these two to go through. I'll try and do it as fast as I can. First up, Violet Voss Berry Burst, the fun-sized one. And that's the inside. And as you can tell, look, I have a problem with this color down here apparently breaking. 
I'm keeping this one. I like that one, so I'm keeping it. Next up is, this is an oldie, but a goodie too. I believe this is a Bare Minerals, Bare Minerals palette. And that's the inside of it. Uh, I'm getting, I think I'm going to get rid of that one. Getting rid of that one. This one I bought really cheap at, on the Tarte website a while back. It's got like three shades in it. This is actually more of like a blush in these two little shades. I think it's really cute for like an on-the-go, really quick look. So I'm going to keep that one. ColourPop next, you had me at Hello. This is the one that <laughs> if you scrape the bottom, it actually has the old Kathleen Lights stuff underneath it. If you know what I'm talking about, if you knew that drama. Um, this is the inside of it, and of course it's messy. I kind of really like this one. I like these brown shades. This shade happens to be like something of like a favorite of mine. I love this pink one up here, so that's a keeper. And I love ColourPop eyeshadows. Next, ColourPop Element of Surprise. Another really good palette. Um, really like this color down here. This one, this one. This is a really great pink. Okay, next up is the Paradise... Enchanted by L'Oreal. Guys, this is a surprise palette. Uh, this is actually really, really, really good. I'm keeping this one for sure, and it smells like peaches, so gotta love that. Color, Another color pop. All I see is Magic, and the inside of this, lots of different kinds of shades um, in here. I'm keeping that one. I really like color pop shadows, so it's a keeper. Next up, Man Eater, one of my favorite. You can tell I've hit pan. <clears throat> on this one, this is one of my favorite palettes. I'm keeping that one for sure. Next, Tartlet by Tarte. Um, oof. I'm torn on this one, guys. I like, don't know. Uh, I really like the shades in here, so I think I'm going to keep that one for now. Again, here's another one of my all-time favorites, and I know some people do not like this palette at all. It's the Tarte um, Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust, whatever it's called. <clears throat> that's the inside of it. I really love this palette. I'm keeping it. I love all of these shades. I love these. You know, it, I just, it's just gorgeous. I love it. Guys, here's another one of my Aspen of our, so we're keeping that one. This is a Tarte Magnetic palette, and on the inside, I believe these are Coastal Scents. Yeah, these are Coastal Scents, and I picked out these colors and kind of made this palette my own, so I'm keeping that one. Here is the Fame palette by ColourPop, the, and this is the inside, it's like a cool toned palette. I absolutely love this palette, so that's a keeper. And along with the Fame, here's the Fortune, and this is more warm tones, definitely keeping that one. I love my ColourPop palettes, they are excellent. Let me put some of these back. Here is the limited edition. This is the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette. Um, I got this off of HSN. You could only order it on there. Um, this is the inside of it. I absolutely love this palette too. It's great. A lot of good shades in here. Keeping that one for sure. Here's a little MAC palette. It is called, what is it called? Rose Gold. And this is the inside. Ugh, gosh, I like this, but I have like so many of these same shades. I'm getting rid of the MAC. I know, right? I'm sorry, MAC. Carly Bible. I've had this Carly Bible palette literally forever. I'm getting rid of this one. I'm not a big... I, I like that palette. I just don't use it a whole lot. Next up is Violet Voss Pro. I got this in... Um, Boxy Charm, I believe, or Boxy Lux. I absolutely love this, and I love the colors in here, so she's a keeper for sure. Okay, we are down to one more, one more bin here. All right, this is the Pure, I don't know what it's called, Daydream um, palette, I guess you'd call it. It's got, like, I would almost, you could say you could use this as a blush, but I don't know. Um, I actually kind of really like this, so I'm going to keep it for a little while at least anyways. Then I have this box set here. It's the NYX Los Angeles. I had the lippy in here. The lippy's not in here anymore, of course, but here's the shades, and I'm going to get rid of that one. I think I got that at TJ Maxx for like six bucks. 
Okay guys, now I have all of these. <laughs> these two-faced tins that I don't even know if they sell these tin ones anymore, but here's the two-faced cat eyes. And that's what it looks like. I'm keeping that one. Um, peanut butter and jelly. I hit pan on this one, so obviously I like that one. Keeping that. This is the two original Too Faced Natural Matte. Hit pan on there. I really like these. I'm keeping it. Uh, this is the Natural Eyes. Oh, boy. I really like this one. Oh, but I'm going to get rid of that one. And this is Boudoir Eyes. So I'm getting rid of that one, too. It seems just like a lot of the same kind of shade. So out of the five, which I hate to split up, like, all these tin ones, to be honest with you guys. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to keep all of them because I just, I kind of want to keep all of them. You know what I mean? Like, ugh, I know. It's tough. It's tough. Let me tell you. Then I have these two little nakeds. I've got the Naked Basics palette. If I can get it open. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of that one. I never use it. And then this is the Naked Heat palette, and I really like it, so I'm going to keep it. So we'll get rid of one, and we'll keep one. Okay, holy crap, guys, I got rid of a lot. Um, I have a couple of these Ofra magnetic palettes, and these are Ofra shadows in here, so I'm just going to keep these because I have, like, some random blushes, highlighters in there, and I don't know what I'm doing kind of with these yet, so I'm just going to keep them because I do like the magnetic palettes. Uh, got this in BoxyCharm. I love this thing, guys. The pigment's great in this. I'm keeping it. I love it. Okay, this next one I have a love-hate relationship with. The Alamar palette from BoxyCharm, Alamar Cosmetics. And this one, at Raina Del Carib. Guys, at first, I hated this thing. I, I was like, oh, God, what you know, what am I going to do with this, right? I have learned to love this so much. The pigment on this is fabulous. The colors are great. I, I, if they put out more palettes, I will buy them. I absolutely love this, so that's a keeper. We are keeping that one. And these last two that I have are BoxyCharm palettes. Um... I don't, this one I don't even know how I got, I, I was supposed to get the, the, uh, when they had the little hair straightener, but I didn't get, I don't know, I don't know what happened, but anyways, crown palette, oh boy guys, I never use it, I'm getting rid of that one, and this protege palette, I'm getting rid of that one too, I'm getting rid of both of these, wow guys, I literally have a stack of palettes, and this is what I have left, excuse the bobby pin, that's what's left, that's what's left, plus I have some palettes I'm going to be putting in here that I just got. So, that was my palette collection declutter, and I decluttered a lot. So that's good, guys, that's good. But, um, thanks for watching, and I'll be doing a palette, upcoming palette haul very, very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!